These projects to cut emissions, how important are they to Norris Nickel? Uh, they are at the core of a new stage in strategy implementation. We, we would be willing to become uh, more greener and also help others to stay and be greener. We would be uh, cutting emissions of sulfur into the atmosphere by at least 75 percent over a period well, starting 2023, uh, the project would be implemented. Yeah, we've, we've got so much to talk about. Let's quickly seg on. We're talking about Uber and Volvo later, its investment in autonomous cars. And it's a big, it's a big subject matter for you, given your exposure to, to nickel. You've got this cooperation agreement with BSF on batteries this year. How's that going to work? What are you investing in it? Are you just going to be a supplier? Can you paint the picture for us? Well, not in a position to describe that uh, initial agreement in full detail, but we are in the business of producing precursors that are used to the production of batteries. And we are exploring an opportunity to create a joint facility, production facility, uh, that would be supplying precursors. But there are some stages uh, before this plan would be fully operational on full scale. And uh, no one is in a hurry. Yeah, I mean, give, give us your, your view on how electric vehicles are going to continue to, to transform the metals markets. Well, I think that uh, well, depends on what uh, uh, base metal you which are. Which side you're on. You yeah. well, which side you're on. For nickel producers, cobalt producers, uh, this seems to be a good new opportunity that would mature over, over a decade or two when uh, the uh, production of EVs, electric vehicles, would become really massive. And... Uh, uh, in terms of a metal content for a car, mm. electric vehicle, uh, you would have to use more metal, yeah. to put it <laughs> directly. Pal Palladium's the other side of the story. Um, is, if electric vehicles push out other cars from the market, how does that affect the whole palladium? Well, it's not going to happen uh, overnight. It's not going to happen in a hurry, yeah. Uh, so for, uh, for foreseeable future, we would have uh, internal combustion engines, and that's why we would be, uh, if the gasoline engines would be using palladium heavily in, uh, uh, for, 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 to treat the exhaust gases. This run in palladium, 17-year high, 46% up in 2017, has it got further to run? Uh, not really, because there is a relative parity with platinum, and mm. it used to be like that, let's say, 20 years ago, but then there was a major disruption in the market, and now palladium is coming back. Uh, we would be interested as a producer, and world's largest producer of palladium, uh, to provide st price stability and supply stability to uh, car industry and other, uh, other customers.